are you doing? The girl looks young, somewhere between 15 and 18 years of age. She is pale and skinny, with a tumbling mass of black hair. Her lips are pale, her eyeliner is black, and she wears a black camisole top with skinny black jeans, black soft boots, and a silver ank on a chain around. Hey, welcome back to Cards and Comics, and I hope you enjoyed the intro. That was Kate Denning as Death in the Audible production of Sandman, Act 1. That's free right now on Audible. And I hope it gets you excited for this uh, episode where we talk about the top 10, or my top 10 comic books to invest in for Death, uh, which is a character from Sandman. Um, but before we start, I wanted to give a little brief history of the character, so... Um, the character actually is based on a real live person named Cinnamon Hadley. And uh, in an interview with Neil Gaiman, he talks about that Death was the only character that basically he didn't design or basically um, have, you know, basically final say in what the design. Mike Dringenberg uh, told Neil that he had a character or a person he knew that he wanted to design the character after. <laughs> and when they looked at it, they felt like, man, that's really cool. You know, Neil and uh, Mike, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Neil and Dave McKean. And then he even talks about a story where they go into a pancake house in Chelsea and they see a woman, an American woman, dressed just like um, Mike Dringenberg's drawing, uh, even with an ankh around her necklace and all black. And, uh, and actually, this, you know, if you think about it, this definitely is the inspiration for that uh, in, the, in the narration of. Uh, issue eight when the narrator says that she could be anyone she could even be a waitress right and I always thought that was kind of odd because you know I've always figured you know death was kind of would have been in said you know, inspired by a goth kid or it could have been any you know um, any you know um, punk rocker or whatever you know you know I never thought of it as a waitress but then knowing that they saw a woman who looked just like her in a as a waitress uh, makes a lot of sense now. Um, so again, I think it's really cool that, you know, um, you know, during the intro, the, um, the photo is basically inked over photo of cinnamon Hadley. She, she is death. I mean, she is, uh, and it's just awesome that there's a woman that existed that looked like her. Unfortunately, she died in 2018. Um, but here's a full length photo of her that Mike Dringenberg did. And I think it's just really cool. And, She's obvious, awesome, um, uh, you know, and obviously very beautiful. Um, and it's, you know, sad that she was not going to be here for some of the uh, revival of Sandman. So, but, so um, I want to give a little brief history of the character itself and how she was developed. And then we'll go into the comic book. So next up, number 10 is actually not a comic book. And it's a, a Diamond Previews, November 1992. And the reason why this is on the list is really because uh, Death doesn't have a lot of comic book covers that I consider to be amazing. Um, and if you look at this one, you know, it's a lot of great images, a lot of playful images of, of Death, and that's how I think of her, as very playful, kind, and helping. And this gives a lot of those um, attributes to her. Um, and I really think it's uh, a great kind of homage or collage of different images for Death. Um, and so it's not very expensive. It's $10 raw right now. I think that's probably going to go up as the character gets closer and closer, uh, or the series gets closer and closer. So, um, but it's also hard to find in some bad shape mostly. So this is one to go digging for. If you, if you know, an LCS, it has a lot of these diamond previews laying around. It might be, you know, in there and you might be able to get it for a couple bucks. Next up is again, not a comic book. This is a trade paperback. From 2013, Death at Death Store um, by Jill Thompson is basically a manga style um, story, you know, death story. And, um, you know, I think it's an okay cover. I don't really think the, the design is, could it, you know, is all that great. It's okay. I'm not in love with it. I don't hate it, but I just think it could have been a little bit better better <laughs> i think there was some room for improvement but hey everyone has their own taste and for me this is not my favorite image of death um but it's a cover image and again i talk about other you know there's other one shots you know the high cost of living 
uh, you know, all these, you know, musings, uh, you know, these one-offs from Vertigo, but a lot of them don't have, you know, what I consider to be great cover art. Musings 1 does have death on the cover, but again, it's got other characters too. So, you know, having an isolated cover with her on it is it's hard to find. And so that's why books like this would be on the list. If you want good images of, of the character, you have to kind of resort to, to some more non-traditional sources. Uh, and here's one with, without death on the cover. And there's two books without death on the cover. But they're important because this is Marvel utilizing the character Death in 1994 in Incredible Hulk 418. She is in a few panels. I um, mean, you can clearly see here's one of the panels. It's Death. And I just think that's awesome. That obviously Peter David, who wrote this book, um, loved the character and wanted to use her. And it's great that it, it was done. I, I think it's great to have a crossover like this. <clears throat> That's so obvious. They didn't even change the design of the character one bit. So um, they're very cheap. You can get them on eBay. You can get them probably in your LCS. Pretty pretty um, reasonable. Maybe in that three to five dollar range. Uh, in a nine point eight. Uh, 200 bucks but there's not a lot of them so it's a good it's a book that you can probably try to find raw and get graded and, and if your grading ever becomes normal again and uh, come back and make some money uh, this is a good shot it's a good inexpensive uh, uh, book that you can get graded and might get some make some money on it uh, same way for death uh, talks about life from again from 1994 uh, this is a PSA inserted in shade the changing man number 32 um, it's basically how to use a condom is, is in it. And this is during the, the a, a very uh, peak period of, of AIDS, right? And so AIDS was really rampant right now in the, or at this time in the U.S. And, and I think this was just a, a great PSA. And uh, again, she uses John Constantine as kind of a prop to demonstrate on a banana uh, how to put a condom on. And I think that's just it's very death in that book. And I, I like the cover okay. Again, a different take, you know, and I, I really think, um, you know, it's at least a good cover image of death. So I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, and it's one of those ones that if you want to find it raw, it's that 10 to $15 range graded. You know, I had one offered to me 175. Um, I think you get it probably for 150. Uh, but again, I think at some point it's going to hit 200 bucks or even more as with all the black on the cover, it's, it's going to be a challenge to grade. Next up is two books I, I'm really excited about. These are uh, both Madame Xanadu number six from 2008. Um, and it's two different covers, so cover A and cover B. The cover B, Frank Quietly cover, is obviously harder to get. It's selling for about 30 bucks, whereas cover A um, is like a $10, a $10 book. They're both, you know, they're written by Matt Wagner, which is, I love him as a writer. Um, and, you know, Grindel is becoming more popular, more, you know, speculated on too. So this is another Matt Wagner uh, uh, property or book that he read, he wrote. So good author. Um, and I, I actually like both covers equally well because I think they both are so different and have such a different take on the character that I love them both. Um, and I think they're great additions to a death co collection. They're not very expensive. However, I will say this, graded, the, I couldn't find any sales for 9 8 I think the book on the right, uh, the Madame Xanadu um, 6, uh, the, the Frank Qu uh, Quietly cover, would bring quite a bit. Uh, because of the black, it would be harder to grade. It's a, it's a rare comic. Um, as, you know, and so I just feel like you know, that, that has potential to be, uh, uh, in a 9 8 uh, very expensive book in the next couple of years. So. Um, snag them again in that $30 range they're worth grading right now I think I think both of them are actually worth grading because I couldn't find any sales of either book but I do think the cover B is going to be where a uh, majority of dollars are spent for this for this issue uh, next up is a book I love I, I absolutely love this book I couldn't find it at the last show I, I kind of forgot about it a little bit and looked for it a little bit but Man, Lucifer 25, this is one of my favorite death covers of all time. Christopher Moeller did it. Um, I don't know a lot about Christopher Moeller. He's not a, a cover artist I'm that aware of, but he nailed it. Like, this is this is just awesome. Like, I, I don't know. 
Like, you know, and, and the thing is, you know, again, I keep pointing over and over that death doesn't have a ton of covers, but this is a great one. And, you know, again, couldn't find any graded copies for sale. This is one that I've seen sell in collections, like someone selling Lucifer, you know, like the first 30 issues or whatever, or a lot of Lucifer books for like 20 bucks. And this is in there, you know, you can get it that way. I'm sure these are in some LCSs and some dollar bins. You know, these are not from, two, you know, it's 2002 Lucifer. These are definitely not going to break the bank on eBay. They're, they're going fast. I'm just going to tell you, like I looked at sales. There's only a few copies left on eBay. People have caught on that. This is one of the best covers for say, uh, for uh, death. And, um, I think it's going to go places. Um, and it's going to continue to go up and this is definitely one of the cooler, um, um, death books that's out there. Next up is captain Adam 42. And this, this would have been a lot higher, I think in, in price if death was on the cover, right? Now, Death is in many panels. I think over 20 panels in this book. She's all over this book. This is like, you know, and I believe she's in 43 as well. So she's she's a major character in this book. So she's really involved. This book is the first real DC um, U, um, you know, appearance for Death. Um, you know, so Death's first appearance outside of her Sam in universe into a DC property. Um, so raw it's 20 bucks you know there was a 90 they sold for 220 i this is a hard one for me to think of because there's another book on the list action 894 that kind of has taken over kind of as the go-to death and dcu continuity book but it's 10 years after this book and i gotta imagine that the price disparity that we're starting to see will eventually uh, work its way out but this is a cheap spec 20 bucks raw again that 200 ish 9.8 but it's important and she's all over the book i wish she was on the cover if she was on the cover this book would be worth i think uh, a lot more especially raw but it's a great book to have you should have in your collection if you really want to you know collect death or just have a lot of the early death appearances this is one of them 1990. uh in the book i just talked about 894 has two covers Cover A from David Finch, cover B from Craig Russell. Craig Russell's uh, book is more expensive because it's a harder to find variant. So the difference between cover A, which is um, the Finch cover, which is 50 bucks, which is going up uh, every day, and cover B, uh, 125 due to the rarity. Obviously, most people would say cover A is the better of the two covers, but B is rarer. And then you can see a 9.8, they're still pretty close, with you know but the raw side of it is you know over double but i do think cover a is selling like hotcakes on ebay it's going to get sold out at some point people have caught on that this may be the most um iconic cover for death or one of them you know top three covers for death um a lot of people think it's the best cover i have heard that from multiple people I think the Lucifer cover gives it a run for the money, but it's a great cover. And I love, um, I love this book as well. I mean, I, I'm not saying like, I, I, you know, that I wouldn't agree that it is the best, uh, some days, some days I, I love this. I think the Lucifer book is just cause it's new to me. Um, you know, I've just kind of, you know, found it and I, so I'm, I'm kind of, it's more recent, but, um, I think it's a great image as well. Um, next up is obviously her first appearance and this has gone, up quite a bit in the last six months or uh, six weeks actually raw 150 to 200 on ebay but if you go to cards sh- or sorry comic book stores and comic shows or comic cons you're not going to find it for 200 bucks very easily uh or 150 um you're going to pay about 175 to 250 um just that's how it is um the prices on ebay reflect the fact that um, you might get damaged books or, you know, people overgrade, but in person, you can see the quality of the book. If it is truly a near mint plus book, you're going to pay, you know, around uh, 175 to 200. You're not going to get these for under, under 150 anywhere anymore. Um, the nine sixes are bringing 450, uh, consistently and, you know, closer to, you know, and they're creeping closer and closer to 500. Um, and 
the 9.8 is just very hard to find the last sale was 1700 but I would think that this is going to be a $2,000 book in a 9.8 pretty soon but it's still a nice cover again it's just a Sandman cover from the series like they the cover art is designed to be a certain style and so it's not cheesecake or kind of like um, you know um, a, a style that uh, you would say is um, you know what most modern cover art uh, would would consider to be beautiful like the 894 action or the Lucifer but it's a it's definitely iconic and it doesn't detract any way from the value of the book um, and then number one um, you know I mean obviously this is a weird book this is from Spain Dolman number 16 and basically it's an editorial book where it just it interviews artists and and it showcases their work and there's a lot of Adam Hughes like Dolman covers that are out there there's a, kind of some famous ones like I think a Wonder Woman that's pretty famous um, but again this is an Adam Hughes death cover that's really cool and it's number one because it's very limited raw copies are selling for 250 they're hard to grade and if you ever got anything close to nine six and nine eight, you're talking a lot of money for this book because you got Adam Hughes collectors, you've got Sandman collectors, Death collectors, you got everyone who wants books like this. This is going to be a hot book if you can ever get it in, in some higher grade. So <laughs> I know it's a little of an odd book, but hey, you know, it's it's um you know, I think it's definitely one of the cooler books that's out there um, from Adam Hughes. Now, if you look at, um, you know, the most expensive book for, for uh, that death appears in, it's going to be the error um, CMA number eight. But the reason why I didn't add it on here is because it's not available. You know, it, it's, it's a book that is going to go nuclear if it's available. Um, you're not going to be able it's not going to be a book you can speculate on because it's, it's already at an enormous value and so I just feel like it's not a book that's a available and B it's it's not a spec book it's really a investment book right you you're gonna buy that book to put it away and, and, and watch it grow in value you're not buying it to flip it in the short term because it's already very expensive so um, that's my top 10 um, Share your comments. I would love to see what books you would have put on the list um, other than these. But this is what I think. And hopefully there's some books on here that you didn't see before or you hadn't thought of as being a book to go out and buy because of prices. So um, until, you, and <clears throat> until next time, I'll see you later. And uh, good luck and good hunting.